Welcome to Owensfield Park, where the City of Columbia has created a pump track. Today we are going to explore this park with you and provide some insight on the project. Before we get started, I would like to recognize a few of our partners. First, I would like to thank our funding partner of South Carolina Parks, Recreation and Tourism, who provided a grant through the Recreation Trails Program. I would also like to acknowledge our consultant team of American Ramp Company, Velo Solutions, and Progressive Bike Ramps, who provided the expertise to design and build this pump track course. As we begin the tour, for those of you who may not know what a pump track is, it is a bicycle course that features rolling hills and berms that vary in height and frequency. Depending on your skill level, you can ride the entire course without pedaling your bike. You simply pump up and down as you roll through the berms. But if you have to pedal, that's okay too. The pump track is located off the main entry of the park on approximately one acre. There is adjacent parking that is buffered by a split rail fence. You enter the park at the trailhead and before you enter, you'll notice our rule signage. Pay careful attention to the rules before you use the park. As you enter the trailhead, you'll notice a large seating bench, a water fountain, and a fix-it bike station. There's trash receptacles, bike racks, and landscaping. There's plenty of room for both people and bikes to maneuver as you get ready to ride the course. The fix-it station is great if you need to repair your bike before you ride the course ahead also. The track itself is designed for all skill levels. It will challenge beginner to intermediate riders while still providing an enjoyable course for more expert riders. The track surface is asphalt. This was chosen for the longevity and maintenance considerations, and one lap on the course equals 0.2 miles. You begin the ride in a counterclockwise direction, and you start out on a burn turn. The burn turn is great, you can keep your momentum and ride through the turn sharply up the uh, side of the wall, or you can take a break on the ledge at the top. After the burn turn, you go through a series of rollers that vary in height and frequency, which leads to your first junction transfer area. These areas are nice if you want to turn around and complete the loop you just completed. Some riders will do tricks here, such as jumps, and also when the course is not busy, they may change directions and ride the course clockwise here. After this feature, you continue to ride over a series of rollers to an optional wood roller corner. These are great for practicing your balance. Um, if you want to bypass this, you just continue to go to the left of it and continue over more rollers to another transfer junction area. If you continue through that transfer junction area, you'll continue counterclockwise through this junction over a set of larger rollers that leads to your second burn turn you will use that burn turn to turn sharply and have an optional A-frame ramp that you can choose or you can bypass that ramp to the right. And then that leads you to the main transfer area in the park. You continue counterclockwise through the turn over more rollers to your third burn turn, which leads to a straightaway where you can get a lot of speed over a series of large rollers. That takes you to our composite wood burn turn that's a little higher than the asphalt burn turns. And with the speed you gain from the straightaway, you can get a little higher on this feature. And that turns into more rollers, which takes you back to the main transfer area on the course to either relax or keep riding in a counterclockwise direction over more rollers back to the beginning of the course to complete your 0.2 miles. The landscape areas feature sod on the steep slopes to help with erosion, but the majority of the landscape is more natural. The interior areas of the track are seeded with wildflowers, which are dormant now, but will feature many blooms from summer through fall. The trees planted are native and will help provide future shade, while landscaping at the trailhead is mostly native, requiring less maintenance, and this planting also slows down and filters water from the impervious track surface, and the landscape complements the native landscape work that the Rosewood community is providing throughout the park. We hope you enjoyed the tour and can visit soon to give it a try. It's a very fun course for the whole family.